Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will teach you how to use blend feature in part design in part in surface designing. So let's get started. So just like a normal thing that I do, I just open a part. If you even want to do it under a product in order to make an, make an assembly, you can do so. So let's say I go to file, click on new scroll down click on product double click on it and I can insert a new part if I want to it's all up to me that's how I get started ok I'm just going to stick to the part this time double click I can name the part just like that isometric view just to make sure everything is alright so I'm going to make any random shape that just looks okay in order to make the blend feature work I'm just going to use a spline right here you can see uh, and something like this so if you just want to make a normal spine that's okay as well or you can make whatever you want to it's not mandatory, it's just an example that I just want to show and I'm just going to mirror this about the horizontal component and just for my interest I'm just going to add a curvature here for let's say 50 if that's okay no that spoils the feature that's alright I mean I'm not going to bug that so I'm, I'm just going to be satisfied with the standard feature that we have. So we got the blend feature right here. I'm going to make another sketch using here. So this is just an example of how you can use the blend feature and what are the different ways of how you can use blend. Blend can be used and be made just automatically or you can also use it as a reference, referring to tangency. So I made the point construction element. So now I can actually make a similar sketch. Any random sketch. I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to mirror it. And you can see it automatically snapped to the reference point. And if you want to make a curvature you can. Not necessary blend will still work and that's alright and I exit out so I, I mean right now they both are tangent to each other we, we can already see and so the blend will be formed is going to be really smooth but let's see how it will look like so blend is just right here blend just like the name suggests is going to blend two surfaces or two sketches that you try to make I click on blend, I click on first curve, I click on second curve and I click preview it's going to show me that yes it's basically going to connect both the surfaces one way or the other so in this case we don't have any particular conditions that in general are applied while using blend if you want to maintain tangency you can but in this case I haven't tried with tangency so you can simply see that the both the sketches are combined together so but this surface I mean it all depends what you are looking for if you are looking for a straight surface which you are basically looking for combining two surfaces or two sketches then you can use this otherwise what I would recommend is to extrude so extrusion is one really good feature that allows you to make profiles extracted from any sketch so what I mean by that is, so let's say we have sketch right here. When I click on this sketch, it's going to allow me to make a surface from a given sketch in any direction that I want or any direction possible. So I just want this limit to be anywhere. So I just, it's not going to be specific because I, I just want you to show like how the blend works with tangency. So 
the same thing I'm going to do with the other sketch as well just click on uh, what we say extrude and then choose the profile which is going to be the surface from the given sketch profile is basically the sketch that we made so now we do we have these two surfaces that we can use as a tangency in order to use the blend feature I click on blend I'm going to choose this first curve it asks for a first support previously I didn't I didn't use any support but it still worked it basically combined both the surfaces so first support is going to be extrude one as you can see it it's already already se uh, selected then second curve is going to be this sketch where the second support is going to be the second extrude surface and now when I click preview it's going to have a different feature rather than having what we had previous time previously now if you want you can also control the curvature if you want or you can also play with the tension of it you can play with the tension you can control the tension whatever you want to tension 1 and tension 2 to make the surface look more like what you are looking for but by default whatever the values are if you are satisfied with it then it's alright so this is one of the two ways that you can actually use blend feature with so for now I think to understand the basic about how blend feature work is good enough and it will help you a lot in future to understand better and I will be posting more videos about how to use blend in upcoming time so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe so thank you for watching and that, and that is it for today take care bye